In both the readings of today, you see the presence of God expressed by people and expressed by King Solomon. In the first reading, you see the Ark of the Covenant is being brought from the city of David, that's Zion, to this temple. And all the elders of Israel, the whole of the congregation of Israel is gathered there. And the priests carry it, sacrificing so many sheep and oxen that they could not be counted or numbered. And when the priest carry it to that inner sanctuary of the house in the most holy place, and when they come out of that holy place, it is said, A cloud filled the house of the Lord, so that the priest could not stand to minister because of the cloud. For the glory of the Lord filled the house of the Lord. So it wasn't some thing. It wasn't just a belief. The belief of these people is being acted out. They're acknowledging the Lord's presence in this Ark of the Covenant. There is sacrifice of animals which cannot be numbered. There is gathering of people. And when it is being presented in the most holy place, you still see these signs of the cloud filling the whole of this house of God. See in the Gospel, when people hear that Jesus has arrived, they recognized him. They rushed about in the whole region, in their villages, in all their places, to bring the sick wherever they heard Jesus was. And wherever he went, whether it's in villages or cities or in the farms, they laid the sick in the marketplaces and asked Jesus that they might touch even the fringe of his cloak. And everyone who touched it was healed. Now, how much faith do we have? Or how much belief that we have in the presence of God? In wherever we practice our faith? Whether it's in churches, in temples? Do you truly believe that this is God? And if you truly believe, is it just in your mind or is it expressed in your thoughts, the way you think? Is it expressed in the different words that you speak? Is it expressed in your daily lifestyle? Does this belief get a practical face? It was expressed in the Old Testament. It is expressed in the New Testament. In the Ark of the Covenant, which we saw in today's reading and in the presence of Jesus. That people saw God present there and their belief was rewarded. God is super powerful. There is no limit to His power, but it can be unleashed only by us. As much as we believe, that much this power is open to us. As much as we believe this fountain of God's power is made practical before our eyes, do you have enough of belief and enough of faith that it can be rewarded? And even if we don't have, it's never late. And if we have, it's time to grow. Though we believe that faith is God's gift, it's also dependent on our openness. It's also dependent on how much we try, how much we work to increase this faith in us. Let us ask the Lord, ask God that we be granted this gift and we do all our best with all the efforts to grow in this faith.